Mama Wolf has got an interesting story for you today. This is the tale of the Nashville Toe Sucker. Okay, there's this guy, and we're just going to call him Jack. Jack is from Texas, and Jack went to Nashville, Tennessee on a business trip, and he checked into the most luxurious hotel that he could, and that was the Hilton. And he expected to have, you know, awesome service there. And, you know, this was supposed to be a real good trip, both uh, entertainment wise and for business. Anyway, then the morning of a Friday, he woke up from a nightmare having a nightmare. He looked down at the foot of the bed because he had this strange sensation. And what did he see? But a pair of buggy eyes on this guy who had Jack's foot in his mouth. He was sucking on his toes and performing an act on himself. Obviously, he had a foot fetish. And Jack was freaked out. He screamed at the guy. He kicked at him. He backed up on the bed uh, as far as he could. And then all of a sudden, he recognized the guy. He realized that this was the night manager of the hotel. He had been in Jack's room the day before helping him with his television set. And as recognition washed over Jack's face, the toe sucker realized that he'd been recognized and he took off running out of that room and with Jack not far behind him. But the toe sucker got in the elevator and went down to the lobby. And so by the time Jack caught his elevator and got down there and got to the lobby, there was toe sucker behind the counter pretending like nothing had happened, nothing weird had happened at all. So Jack made a ruckus and security came and police were called and then toe sucker whose name is david patrick neal said that oh i only went in that guy's room because i smelled smoke and i was worried and and so i went into his room but security quickly said hey we had no smoke alarms go off nobody's reported any smoke and then they went and looked at the security camera which shows that david patrick neal the toe sucker used a pass key that he had made a, a clone of the pass key and got into the room around five o'clock that morning and <laughs> then went to business on the guy's toes so jack did press charges and then he headed back to texas he cut his trip short and he told his wife about this and you know she had to comfort him he's had th therapy he's got ptsd now he also has filed a suit against the hilton because these guys didn't even check on him after this and he wants other people to be safe he's also complaining about their hiring policies because here they were entrusting toe sucker to everyone's safety at night he's the night manager and he has a criminal record uh, from way back going all the way back to um, him actually taking the life deleting his roommate and so you know they've got this ex-con in charge of their hotel toe sucker will be in court on the 26th